Hi Capricorn, thank you for joining me for your How Do They Feel About You reading. Please remember that this is general, so it's not going to resonate for everybody. It's also timeless and it's not gender specific. Because energy and time are fluid, it means that these energies can be switched. So please do bear that in mind if you're cross watching. Because this is Capricorn's reading, I will be addressing them, but this could easily be the cross watchers energies that I'm reading. So always use your own discernment. Take what resonates for you and you leave what doesn't. I cannot censor choose nor control what comes out of the cards. I'm literally just reading them and it's up to you what you decide to do with it. You do have free will. For everything else, please read the descriptions box. I'm also giving away a free read every month to my subscribers and I'll reply to your comments below if you're one of the winners and the winners are selected completely at random. Okay, so now all of that's out of the way, let's get into your reading for you Capricorn and we'll find out how your person of interest is currently feeling about you. Okay, can we please start with how Capricorn's love person of interest currently sees Capricorn? Thank you. Two of Cups. That's a good start. Okay. Two of Cups is Cancerian energy and it basically pertains to uh, union, balance. It can be duality, but it's more importantly about equal exchange, a nice balance between the two, uh, mutual feelings as well. And the Knight of Wands, Sagittarian energy. Okay. Um, that can indicate somebody that cannot be pinned down, okay? Constantly on the move, constantly traveling. Um, there, there is more to that one, but I don't want to say too much just yet before I pull more cards, basically. How else does this person see Capricorn, please? <clears throat> The Ten of Wands, Sagittarian energy. Okay, so heavy Sagittarian energies in this read, Capricorn. You could have uh, a Sagittarius placement in your chart, or you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, either way, it's basically, if you can imagine your person of interest, okay, they're currently on the outside looking in towards your life, and they're making a lot of assumptions about you, basically. I mean, it, it's normal. That's what everyone does. We all make assumptions about others. Um, and basically, these assumptions are coming from either something that you're doing or something that you've said or even something that somebody else has said about you to them, okay? So your top line is all about their assumptions and how they're seeing you. So they see you here as basically uh, doing quite a lot with the Ten of Wands. There could be a danger of you burning the candle at both ends with this one. It's basically someone who's got a lot of responsibilities, um, a lot of things that's just going on in your life in general, and basically not having the time. They see you as not having the time to invest in anything romantic at the moment. Um, they're seeing that romance is quite possibly the furthest thing from your mind right now with this Knight of Wands because that's a very non-committal energy. It's very flighty uh, and basically they see that you're not going to be pinned down at this time. Uh, I don't know, some of you might well enjoy that. Uh, depends on your perspective and who you're dealing with, I guess. Um, I should start to clarify then, but I would quite like to take a look at how they feel towards you and then I'll start clarifying. How does Capricorn's person feel about Capricorn at this time, please? It's in their heart space. And the Six of Wands, nice. Uh, Leo energy. Uh, so in their heart space towards you, Capricorn, is the card of victory. Uh, joy, success, celebration, winning. Uh, it's literally the card of winning. Knight of Swords, that's Gemini energy. Um, that's fast news, unexpected news or events. 
in their heart space okay so there's a bit of a revelation there we did have a card that just jumped the queen of cups is cancerian energies right so yeah there's a lot of love here for you basically in their heart space um with the knight of swords there, there's something very unexpected about this so this could be an unexpected meeting of this individual or literally they unexpectedly fell in love with you and now they're wanting a victory with you and clarify the knight of wands ten of wands please Capricorn's energy, Knight of Wands, Ten of Wands, the Ace of Coins, Earth energy, okay, brand new beginning, and the Hermit, Virgo energy, that's come out off balance, okay, um, so in how they're seeing you, um, with that coming out off balance, it's basically it's a card of non-action right there, there's a lot of thinking and not a lot of action so yeah it's it's like they are assuming that you're avoiding the connection with them or the issue with them there, there's definitely an avoidance with that coming out off balance definitely they see the potential here though with the ace of coins and it's almost as if they're wishing that you would um, decide one way or the other with that hermit card. Uh, what's this knight of swords please for their feelings? Loads. Four of coins, it's Capricorn energy. Eight of swords is Gemini. Empress, that's Earth, Venus as well, uh, Taurus, Libra, Ten of Cups is Piscean, King of Coins is Taurus, and the Chariot is Cancer, right, um, that's a lot, okay, so this is strange, uh, th there's a lot going on here, so this is going to take me a moment to try and navigate through all of this, basically, what's unexpected uh, them falling for you was unexpected the four of coins eight of swords that's withholding and it's kind of like negative thinking as well so somebody feels that they're not good enough now obviously i don't know if this is you or them towards you so again you will have to fit it where it resonates for you and for your situation but this is definitely somebody who felt that they didn't have enough to offer so they decided not to offer anything at all right um <clears throat> The Empress Ten of Cups. The Empress is somebody who is very good at making things happen. So usually um, if, if there was an Emperor here, then that would be the one who gives ideas to the Empress. And then the Empress is the one that makes those ideas turn into a reality, basically. That's the Empress energies. It's all of the four queens in the tarot in one embodiment. So it's someone who um, has got a really good understanding of everything that's going on around them. They've got a really good understanding of life. You're not just given the Empress throne, basically. It's something that you have to earn and that comes through experience. So either you or they have got a lot of life experience here and they do absolutely use that to the best with it coming out with the ten of cups that's all about uh, long term it's also contentment on the outside and the inside so this is someone who understands that happiness comes from within and happiness is something that is then shared with another individual and it's not something that you give to someone or that you get from someone it's something that is shared between two or more depending on if there's a family and for some of you yes there is a family situation because it's ten of cups so yeah this is basically um, a fertile ground here with this individual to have a happy family situation basically with that combination and then king of coins and the chariot so the king of coins is someone who you know the, if it was a work situation it would basically be a boss or a supervisor or 
someone that others look up to basically that's the king of coins it's someone who's in charge it's someone who's grounded stable dependable um it's also someone who's financially secure with the king of coins right it's the counterpart to the queen of coins basically which is all about having your life in order having your finances in order and knowing which direction that you're heading in basically um it's about being content with the things that you have and the position that you currently hold in your life okay um and the chariot is card all about forward movement willpower it can indicate a physical move as well so they, with this all being in their heart space towards you capricorn i'm seeing here that this is their wish right there, there's a wish here to be victorious in the situation with you to to be married settled have a family and basically for some even moving location with the chariot card so yeah there's there's a lot of hopes dreams and wishes uh, a lot of fantasies here in their heart space so it's like all of these things they've thought about doing with you basically what actions will this person take towards capricorn please knight of cups that's piscean strength is leo and queen of coins capricorn okay so in their actions towards you here the knight of cups is basically that honest heartfelt conversation that do pertain to emotions with the knight of cups it's all about a romantic invitation so yeah this individual they do want to reach out towards you and give you this romantic invitation with the strength card being here that's all about strength courage and diplomacy it's also a soulmate card because it, as you can see in this deck it's a woman and a lion right there, there is a bond between these two that they'll never hurt each other because both of them are equally really really capable of hurting each other in this particular deck the strength card you can see underneath the lion's paw i don't know if the camera will focus but there's actually an unhatched phoenix within that ball um, so obviously phoenixes pertain to rebirth uh, th there is a huge change and transformation here that is happening within this connection um, and it's something that your person of interest wants to initiate as well um, it's like a rebirth of this situation is on the way but it's not quite ready yet because it's still in the egg right and again with that uh, bond between these two that there's some kind of soul connection so there's an insinuation that this individual could well be part of your soul tribe and they're wishing that you would slow down for a minute and uh, see the situation at a deeper level and queen of coins um now we've already seen the king of coins there now we've got the queen of coins again this these two are counterparts to each other so it's showing me that you two can work really really well together you can achieve loads together with that being coins energy it's very earthy grounded stable secure um so so much potential here within this connection so much um it's showing me that their actions towards you are honourable with this particular combination. In their blockage is the King of Swords. It's Aquarian energy. So their blockage is basically um, they could well be coming across as quite sort of withdrawn, cold, um, analytical. I just got a whiff of perfume. That was weird. That was really bizarre. Okay, so there, there's something here, Capricorn, about someone's perfume. 
And I have no idea why that's coming through, but I swear I just got the strongest whiff of the perfume there. And no, I'm not wearing any. Not today on that. Uh, that was bizarre. Um, and the magician hiding under there. So that's being flexible, communication, making things happen. Um, being careful with the communication that you receive as well. But that's in their blockage. So this is someone who doesn't know how to communicate properly with that. Because the King of Swords, it, it's someone who's very um, focused on that sort of straight and narrow path. It's someone who, they are capable of wandering off the beaten path, but they prefer not to. Um, manifesting is in their blockage also. Making this that we saw in their heart space towards you, making that a reality is a blockage. So they're struggling with communication and manifesting. They're also struggling here to make sense of this connection that they feel with you, with the King of Swords, with that analytical energies and hidden under their Seven of Swords, more Aquarian energy, uh, hidden Things that are hidden in Three of Cups, reunion. Okay, a hidden desire to have a reunion, a hidden desire for that rebirth. It's dishonesty through uh, omission, basically. Okay. I don't know why that perfume thing was coming through. Um, I think it's like the smell of your perfume has really stuck with this individual or switch it around, uh, cross watcher. It could be the smell of your perfume that's stuck with Capricorn. Because remember, the energies are interchangeable, but there's there's definitely a really strong message here about somebody's smell, someone's perfume. It, it wasn't aftershave. It was too sweet to smell like aftershave. It was definitely a feminine smell. Further clarity, please, for Capricorn. Thank you. Friend zoned. Okay. Still friends, just friends. Someone likes someone else only as a friend, not relationship material. Okay. Um, I'm feeling that like someone's fear because we saw in their heart space. I mean, you saw it as well, Capricorn. What was in their heart space? That's not a friend. That is somebody who's wanting more than a friendship. Definitely. Um, that, I'm feeling that that could well be their fear that you only see them as a friend and passion, insane chemistry, liking each other equally. Yeah. And having fun. Um, that's definitely somebody's fear. Th there is a lot of chemistry here. You do like each other equally. It's just Capricorn. Your person is waiting for you to slow down a little bit so that they can pinpoint you basically reach out and communicate and know that you're not going to be too busy or vice versa switch it around karmic relationship fleeting triggers turmoil resentment lessons letting go and loving you um yeah okay so there's some kind of soul lesson here and under there teasing flirtatious having a crush playing having fun keeping it airy enjoying each other and joking around right Okay, so um, this individual, okay, they're deadly serious about you. They do want to make it work and eventually they want to get it to a place where it's like more serious. But right now they just want to focus on having fun with you and enjoying the friendship, enjoying the chemistry, you know, um, not getting too serious too quickly. But it's certainly uh, within 
the, the, the future desires. Transparency, honest, authentic, genuine, present. Boom, there is a truth that must be told. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not sure how much more I can further elaborate on that card for you, Capricorn, because it's literally a repeating message of everything that we've already seen here, basically. There is a truth that needs to be told here in this connection. You both do like each other equally. It needs to be verbalized and uh, taken action upon. Honeymoon, enjoying the bliss of holiday time together. Okay. Making the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps that you're guided to take. I have one more, please, for Capricorn. And children. Your love life is being affected by children. I don't really like that card. I, I just think it's worded in quite a horrific way. Um, for some of you, not all of you, uh, children could well be a factor into this connection. So it's something that would need to be taken into consideration. Um, if, of course, you do decide that you would like to make the effort with this particular connection. And at the bottom of there, healing family issues, your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Oi, um, no, is what I'm going to say to that, Capricorn. You don't have to forgive anybody for anything that you don't want to, whether they're related to you or not, okay? What I see when this card comes out is basically family issues. They are a thing, right? They are definitely playing either into your self-esteem or your person's self-esteem. Um, especially as we've got Mars in Aries in retrograde, right? And Mars is also squaring off to your ruling planet as well, Saturn. Okay, so we're in a very karmic time right now. If you give me a second, I'll just grab you my notes so I can elaborate further on this for you. Um, we've got Mars in retrograde from September the 9th until November the 13th. And then... You've got Mars square in Saturn, which means that they're having a face off, as I've just said, um, until September the 29th. Right. So we're in a very karmic moment. And basically, there, there's going to be a lot of frustrations that's going on right now. And <clears throat> your family situation is going to play a huge part into this. You might find that there is a lot of chaos, confusion and disruption in your family at the moment. And again, please do not forget it's a very karmic time. Providing that you're acting in your authenticity and you're acting with integrity and honesty and that um, you, you're keeping everything in balance and that basically you're being true and honest to yourself, then karmically you're not going to have anything to worry about and bearing in mind that karma is not a dirty word it just literally means a soul lesson that helps you to grow and move up to the next level right that that's all karmic means it's a soul lesson um so it's trying not to play into these uh frustrations that mars in retrograde is currently pulling up and you might find that this, this particular retrograde is bringing up issues of your family past that has to be worked through, right? So avoid pushing any kind of emotions that that pulls up. Avoid pushing them down. And if you can, take a step back and work through any of the, the historic injuries, if you like, that, that's being pulled up to the surface, okay? Don't avoid it. Sit with them. Honour the emotions that it brings up. 
feel it and when you're feeling it you're actually releasing that back up into the universe and then it comes back towards you as positive energies so it's releasing that negativity and then receiving positivity from that point you're going to start to see a real uh, transformation like internally you're going to start to see yourself a lot differently and you're going to start to appreciate yourself a lot more as well you're going to be able to then have the confidence to sort of take on anything that, that's thrown at you from that point on that there is no shame in um what, whatever's going on here with the family situation there, there's no shame in that it's it's not like it's something that i mean especially as there's mention of your parents you, you cannot choose who your parents are um it's it's not something that you have a choice in so it's literally just working through that the memories that this retrograde is bringing up right realizing that their issues are their issues and it's not yours for some reason it's showing up in your love read because the issues with your family situation it is actually playing a part into your romantic connections so if you just take a closer look at that and find the root cause and to, to work through that you'll then find that you have the confidence to make the effort in this love romantic connection So Capricorn in love, please. Okay. Give thanks for the blessings of love that are soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that you truly, all that your heart truly desires. Right. This is going to resonate for some of you, not for all of you. But these family issues, right, there, there was a parent or even both of them that made you feel unloved unworthy and unlovable that's fucking bullshit right excuse my french that is absolute bullshit i'm gonna leave uh, a link to a youtube channel that i myself use uh, she's amazing she's called lisa a romano and she's she's a, a life coach here on youtube and she's got amazing advice for those who basically have got abusive parents um who are still playing a part in their life today right um so i'm going to leave that link in the comment box for this video and for those of you where that is resonating i strongly recommend her channel um because she'll take you through everything step by step and you will realize that your parents issues are their issues and they're not yours and they had no bloody right to put their emotional shit onto a child no right whatsoever they have affected your ability here to manifest the, the, the life that you want for yourself manifest in miracles uh, your dream is soon to become a reality trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance and under their time you're trying too hard give it time give yourself some time here capricorn to work through the things that you need to work through i was not expecting that to come up in this love read but it's relevant to some of you it is relevant and that's why it's showing up because it's affecting the relationship that you have with yourself and therefore it's affecting your future romantic relationships as well what does capricorn need to focus on at this time please what does capricorn need to focus on please thank you being love mm -hmm. exude love in all that you do oneness like attracts like unconditionally loving self and all yeah um <clears throat> i don't agree with that like attracts like okay to some extent yes but mostly no um because you know what some people are just shits that's just the way that they are and it's nothing to do with who you are as a person it's literally them telling you exactly who they are right 
uh, avoid taking on the energies and opinions of others as if it were your own okay exude love in all that you do come from a place of true authenticity stop being afraid to love to be in love and um there, there's shadow work here as well so don't shy away from taking on shadow work and it's literally loving all of the pieces of who you are including the bits that you don't like <clears throat> because you will find that the pieces that you don't like somebody else is going to absolutely love about you uh, so it's time for you to start getting comfortable with everything that makes you you that's for capricorn please okay step out of your comfort zone i'm not surprised to see that card north node and north node uh, it pertains to your potential so currently yeah you're not living to your full potential because emotionally it's like for some of you not all of you your emotional growth has been stunted here through you, your past there with the family family issues step out of your comfort zone uh it says i know that i'm headed in the right direction you're headed for something that feels like destiny you're facing a fear taking fearless action towards your life purpose you've got this you, you do have this capricorn you do <clears throat> the answers that you need to come in full moon and gemini uh, have the important conversation but stay calm avoid being superficial or those who are superficial someone's trying to flirt with you have you noticed laughing off a situation and job applications have very good prospects so for those who, uh, who are looking for a brand new job they're, they're saying here that uh, your job situation is going to massively improve here uh, for those of you where you have been putting in the work of course and this superficial family situation here um, there, there needs to be a conversation that's had with them about their behaviors stay calm but collected and you are able to get your point across with them um, in a very calm and intellectual way especially if they are forcing you to do something against your will as well or if they are stopping you from pursuing this romantic connection you are going to need to have that conversation with that family believe in the impossible blue moon it says i'm lucky you're about to get a rare chance miss this chance and it might not come back anytime soon what's happened may only happen the once and the person that you're inquiring about is a rare find if you can believe it then you can achieve it the situation is unlikely to repeat yeah um this connection it's something that only comes around once in a blue moon if you miss this chance they're saying then it's gone um, this connection has quite possibly brought up darkness of the past that can no longer be ignored just for Capricorn please oh don't go on the floor okay right we've got loads six house routine that's the house of virgo capricorn i use that's your energy pisces i believe and leo i will okay um your routine virgo house it's a house about health wellness routines and your workplace so your workplace you're taking charge here in your work situation and you are going to utilize um what you have at your disposal to your advantage with that you're basically feeling more determined now than ever to get your 
work situation back on track and back into some kind of stable routine, right? You then got Pisces, which is quite a sort of uh, dreamy energies. It's all about the unconscious. It's about things that are hidden. It's about retreat, escape and release. Um, and I will with Leo, which is children, creativity, pleasures, romance and good fortune. Um, there, there's a dream here about doing something creative. It's like you have you have got a dream, an aspiration here that you had to put that on the back burner in favour of something that was more stable and secure. And I'm seeing that you're changing the way that you think here. You're trying to figure out if you can have this dream career, the thing that you always wanted to do and actually make a living from that, rather than something that was just sort of more fixed, routine, um, something that you had to do and something that you want to do. So really interesting energies here. You're definitely reevaluating the way that you uh, make your finances. Um, you're trying to figure out if you can bring in your dream job into your reality like if, if can you make a living from the thing that you would really want to do instead of the thing that you have to that's basically what i'm seeing is going on here but again um i wasn't expecting that sort of result in a love romantic read but it's it's all relevant uh to to your situation of course if you have been resonating with this timeline then yeah, this is going to be relevant to your romantic read because there, there's something here about your stability. Um, it, it's like you being stable financially, it gives you a lot of confidence in order to pursue the romance. Uh, so it is, it is all connected. Anyway, uh, that is what I have for you Capricorn. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, then that information can be found in my descriptions box and it's in my pinned comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely, lovely week and remember to be kind. We're all just trying to survive. Okay, bye.